what, bitches? Hi, guys. Welcome to a brand new video. Yes. 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 Before you all start dragging me about why I haven't uploaded in... It's been almost a week, I think. I've been ill. I have been sick. I've had a cold for the la literally the last week. When I posted my uh, Glee original song reaction video, um, I was still sick, but I had filmed that video the week before, so I was well enough to edit it. And then I was still like, I had a blocked nose, I couldn't speak properly, and it was just like a, it was a thing. I was just like, okay, like, cool. So I have been on bed rest, like, just like living my sick life, you know? But, um, the, but the real, the real reason why I haven't posted a video in a while is because, <sighs> the real reason is, I have been binge watching. <laughs> I have been binge watching like badly, like badly. Like I'll come home from work and I'll sit on the couch and just binge watch. Like you don't, you don't understand. Like that is all I do. I am so bad at this, but it's so good at the same time. <laughs> it's so good. So I'm currently binge watching two shows at the moment. I'm the first one. Obviously, I'm binge watching Supernatural. Um, I started, st I started watching the rewatching the show. Um, in June after. I, uh, after, actually, I think it was, like, in May, like, after season 15, 14 finished, I wanted to kind of try and re-watch the entire series before the final season started airing, and, um, I started watching it in June, and now I am currently on season 9. I don't think I'm going to actually make it up to the end, but I want to get at least up to the end of season 11, after Amara and the Darkness, because, like, that's going to obviously play a big role in season 15 with God and Amara. So, like, I'll, I, I at least want to get up to the end of season 11. I'm currently on season 9, halfway through season 9, and I'm living, I'm living for it, by the way, guys. Can't just say, Dean and the Mark of Cain story? Oh, bitch, I'm, I'm whipped. I'm whipped badly. Uh, and right now, Sam and Dean are having a little, are having a big fucking argument problem because Dean lied to Sam about Gadriel possessing him anyways. Um, you've all seen the show, you would know. But the point of this video that I'm doing is it's pretty much, literally this video is just a kind of a I'm back video because I have been lacking in, in, in content. I've been lacking badly. Obviously, the reason being, I've been sick, uh, as I just said. And I so I've been binge-watching Supernatural, and I've been... Okay, let me just tell you. I started watching... I was on Season 8 of Supernatural last week. I'm now halfway through Season 9. Like, literally, what the fuck? Like, so... Between that and my newest obsession, okay, everyone sit down, get ready, hold your wigs. My newest obsession, my newest addiction, my newest guilty pleasure show is called Chicago Fire. And if you are, if you have been following me on Twitter and Instagram, then you would know that I have become so obsessed, so invested in this show. And you're probably thinking, Adam, why? Because my son, Alberto Rosenda, who played Simon Lewis on Shadowhunters, recently got casted in a recurring role on Chicago Fire. So when I found out this information, I was like, holy shit, i got to support my son. i got to support him. And I was like, okay, Chicago Fire. And, I, and to be honest, I've always wanted to watch Chicago Fire. Like, it's been on my list of shows to watch. Because my brother watches Chicago PD. And I've seen, like, a few episodes here and there. I'm like, this is actually pretty good. And I'm like, I've always wanted to get into the Chicago franchise. Because I know it's a, sh it's a series, a universe worth getting into. Uh, but I just haven't had the time to, like, fully invest. Because I know if you watch one show, you have to watch, like, PD and then Chicago Med. Like, it's a thing. So, like, I was like, do I have... The so, when he, Alberta got announced, this was kind of my motivation to be like, shit, let's start this show. Not realising that there are literally seven seasons, like, 22 episodes in each season. <laughs> like, bitch. So, I'm like, okay, can I do this? Am I going to try and binge watch seven seasons in literally two months? Yes. But the answer, the truthful answer is it's not going to happen, because I'm only on season two. Towards the end of season two, I think, yeah. And um, I'm not going to actually make it in time, because in one month, the other the show starts airing its eighth season. So I don't think I'm going to make it up in time to watch season eight, but I will be caught up, hopefully by the end of the year, to like start watching from the second point of the season. Anyways, so my new obsession, Chicago Fire. I've been binge-watching these two shows, Chicago and Supernatural. 
let me tell you, Chicago Fire, we're going to talk, of this whole video is pretty much Chicago Fire, because I really want to talk about it. Um, I don't know if any of you watch it, I don't know if you've heard of it, um, but if you haven't, you have now, and you should watch it, because it's a really great show. Um, if you like, it's, it's, it's a show that I don't usually watch. I mean, I do, like, I watch Grey's Anatomy, like, I watch Criminal Minds, like, I have a, a select few, like, drama shows that I watch. And, like, Chicago Fire, like, I don't know, I just, I reckon it would have, it's, it's a, it's like another show to take on, like, com it's a commitment, it's a commitment. So, I was like, okay, I'll watch the first episode, see if I like it, and we'll go from there. I watched the first episode that night, when I found out Alberta was cast in, in the show. I watched the first episode that night, and I pretty much fell in love, Ooh, I pretty much fell in love with the show. Um, it was a really good pilot episode. It was a really, it was a good mix of action, drama, a bit of romance. It was a bit of everything in it. And I, personally, I love the adrenaline rush. I love the, I love, I love the drama. I love, yeah, so I love the adrenaline rush. I love the action. I love the rescues. The obviously, so, okay. If you haven't seen the show, let me just give you a little bit of backstory before I start rambling about it. Um, so there are firefighters who work in Firehouse 51, and yeah, they're firefighters, and they go to emergency, they go to rescues, they put out fires, they save people, hunting things, family business, I'm joking. Um, so yeah, they save people, and they put out fires, and like, they've got paramedics, firefighters, like, they do their thing, you know, emergency services, like, you call 911, that's who comes to rescue you. When you call, that's who, that's who arrives, okay? So obviously there's a lot of action involved, and a lot of rescues, and a lot of confronting scenes, like, full-on scenes, like, you just, like, you, and, as I said, I'm such an adrenaline, I love the adrenaline rush, so I love the fast pace, like, trying to save people, like, rushing to get there, saving them on time, trying to bring them back to life, I live for that kind of stuff, like, I'm so, it just, it makes, it gets me excited, and I'm like, holy shit, like, I, it gets my attention, like, badly, so that was one of the things that drew me into the show, like, you know, obviously, how amazing these firefighters are saving everybody, and, you know, what they do on a daily basis, it's so interesting. Another reason, and probably the main reason why I'm probably going to continue watching this show is because I have, I love, the love of my life is on that show. And I have recently discovered him in the last few weeks, and he has changed my life. And um, there are there are a few people in the world who make me so happy. Matthew Daddario and Casey Cott being two of those people. And you all, know, if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I am in love with Matthew Daddario and Casey Cott. That they're my two, one of my two of my favorite human beings on the planet. And like I have so much love for them. Like you, you know how crazy I get with them, right? Well, you we can add the third one to the list because there is another guy on this show. So this guy's name is Jesse Spencer, right? He's an Aussie actor. He is the love of my life. He has the best blue eyes, literally. But you know what? I think this show, there, it, this is fate, right? This show is fate. This is fate. His name, his character in the show is literally, okay, you never, I actually was shocked. I was like, bitch, what the fuck? That is weird. That is weird shit. Coincidence. Like, it's weird, right? His name in the show, his character, his name is Matthew Casey. That's right. Matthew Casey. Two of my favorite people. Names combined, and you create the third love of my life, Matthew Casey. Of all the names, why did it have to be Matthew Casey? And you know what? I live for it. They're, when they're in the emergencies, when they're going to the fires or whatever, they're like, Casey, Casey, they're shouting Casey, and I'm like, living. It's great. It is actually great. It was meant to be, I feel. Like, it was actually meant to be. And the good, the best thing is that I have fully stand this character, Matthew Casey. I have stand. I am a stand now. And his character is just so amazing, and, like, it makes me happy that he's not a toxic guy. He's an amazing guy, and it makes me so happy. And I live for him, right? Um, anyways, enough about... So, this is a photo of him, okay? Listen. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. It's what you deserve. I just... I need to introduce you to him. Like, I need everyone to know who he is, because he's amazing, okay? Um... And the funniest thing, I keep post I kept posting Instagram stories about how much I love Matthew Casey and I was like, you know, do a video or like tweet something or whatever. Not realizing Alberto follows me on Instagram and he views my stories. So there well, he's probably never gonna happen, but if there there is a slight chance that he might tell Jesse Spencer that I love him and I'll fucking die, do you understand? I'm not holding out any hope because like I'm not that bitch, but like there's like a 0.00001% chance it will happen, and like, that's enough for me. Anyways, enough about Matthew Casey. All you have to know is he's a great character. 
Anyways, the other reason why I love the show obviously isn't because I'm Matthew Casey, but like all the characters in the show, I have become so attached so early on to all the characters. Currently, I'm on season two. I think I said that already, but I'm at the end of season two, towards the end. And like, even when I was watching season one, like already, like in the first few episodes, you can I got so attached to all the characters. I don't know. It just the way they. They're such a, they're a family in that firehouse. The firehouse is a family. Um, they're, they're family. And, like, that's one of my favourite things about this show is that they will do, they'll go above, above and beyond for every single one of that. They will all go above and beyond for each other. And it's just so incredible to see. These characters are just amazing. I just, I, I just don't know how else to describe it. They're just simply amazing. I, apart from Matthew, I love Herman. Christopher Herman, I love Herman with my whole heart. He is one of the. No he's just. He's amazing. I don't. And his accent, bitch. His accent is incredible. His accent does things to me. I. I just love him. He's just so precious. I want to protect him with my life. Same as Otis. Otis is my son. Do you understand? Otis is. I think his name is Brian, right? Otis is literally my child. Like. I will protect him with my life. I just, I think he's gorgeous. I think he's so cute. I live for Otis. Man, he's one of my faves. I, he's just so. Okay, now, now, I, before I get any further, I don't want anyone to spoil anything in the comments because I do read the comments and like I don't want anyone to spoil anything because like let's be honest, people tend to like kind of comment things not realizing that could be spoilers. So if you could just not spoil anything because I'm trying to go into the show without knowing things. That would be great. Thank you. Um, but anyways, if any harm comes to Otis, I will sue the writers, you understand me? Um, same with Herman. Same with Matthew Casey. And I already watched the episode where Matthew went into the building and, like, was almost dying because I... And it was... Oh, bitch. My, I couldn't deal. Um, I love... I love Gabriella Dawson. Dawson is iconic. She is a queen. I love her so much. She's just... She's incredible. I the first time she was on screen, I'm like, yep, she's a badass, and we love her. Don't spoil anything for me because apparently people are telling me just wait till season six. I don't want to know. At the moment, I'm living in a happy little bubble. Okay. Anyways, so Gabriella Dawson, and listen when I tell you her and Casey, the thing I think their ship name is Dorsey. Dawson and Casey, Gabriella and Matt, far out. They are the OTP I deserve, you understand me? Like, I already sensed the chemistry between them in the first season, and I could not blame her for having a big crush on Casey, because can you blame her? He's a beautiful man, okay? He's gorgeous. So I could not blame her for having a crush. But th at that time, he was, you know, had a fiancé, had a girlfriend, like, whatever. Like, he was... And what I appreciate is that they never cheated on, the, on, the, on anybody else. They didn't cheat. There was no cheating involved. Like, they waited until the right time. To like, and when they first kissed in season two, bitch, my heart was like, yeah, I, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Jesus Christ, literally, I was so excited. It was like, they both knew they had feelings for each other, but like, they never could act on it, because at one point, Gabby was, uh, yeah, Dawson was with Mills, which we'll get to Mills in a second, Peter, and you know, you could tell that she was into, Ga uh, into Mills, but... You knew that she loves Casey. She had stronger feelings for Casey. And, like, Casey knew he, he was with Hallie. But, like, he, you know... And then he kind of got over Gabby and went back with Hallie. But then Hallie died. I'm like, oh, my God. That was so emotionally sad, bitch. Um, so, yeah, Gabby and Matt are my OTP. And I love them so much. And at the moment, they're in a really good place. Um, so, I'm really excited. Um... I just love them so much. They're they're amazing. And then we have Leslie Shay. Leslie Shay is my fucking queen. Do you understand? She's my lesbian icon. I stand so hard. She's literally one of my favorite characters. Um, I just love how amazing and confident she is. Like with her, it's like I love it. I just I, I love it. I love it. I love her. But I know the only thing I know is that she does. She isn't in the, um the later seasons. Because I know that she's in Lucifer. The actress is in Lucifer. So I know that she leaves the show at some point. I don't know when. I don't want to know. But I'll be sad when she leaves. Because, like, I like her. I like Shay. Like, I, she deserves the world, okay? I love her so much. Um, so she's an icon. And we, we, we always stand. Peter Mills. He. Look. I love Peter. But sometimes he can annoy me. But, like, he's also my son. 
and my children do stupid things, and my children, like, can annoy me, but, like, I do like Peter, I really do, he's, he's just so precious, you know, like, like, I just, I love everybody, guys, I don't, there's no one I hate, I love Mouch, he's great, he in the couch, me, literally me, um, I love Cruz. Cruz is great. The thing I, I need they need to develop his character a bit more, I feel. I'm only season two. But um they need to develop a bit of more of his character, but I love what I see, I love him. Um is all the characters on the show? Oh Bowden, Chief Bowden, of course. He's he's amazing too. There are so many great characters on this show and like one of my favourite things about Chicago Fire, right, is that they can be having such like there could be, like, a really emotional scene between characters, like, in the firehouse. And, like, as soon as those sirens go off because there's an emergency, they just drop it and they run. No matter what the characters are doing at any point in the house, no matter what they're doing, as soon as those sirens go off, they drop everything and they bolt to the, the truck and the ambulance. The, they bolt and they run and it's it's so good. It's just, like, you get so invested and then, like, suddenly you hear the... Dun, dun, whatever that noise is. And you're like, oh my god, like, there's an emergency. Like, I get excited, I'm like, oh shit. And like, it's just like, the, the show, the show, this show doesn't let you breathe at all. It doesn't let you breathe, I'm sorry. You, it just, you can't breathe because like, every episode something's happening and like, there's so many storylines and like, they all flow within each other and they just, it's, they don't drag out any storylines that I've watched. They pretty much, give a good amount of time to these stories and they end it when they need to end it. They don't drag it out. Like, it's, it's, it's so good. Guys, it's so good. Alberto, thank you for getting me into this show because, honestly, I think this has changed my life. Um, so, and I kind of want to start watching Chicago PD because, like, Sophia Bush, my other queen, is in it. But I know she's not in it in the later seasons, too. So why do they get rid of all the female characters, man? My favourites. Anyways... The T is, as long as Matthew Casey... Oh my god, Severide! I always do this. I tried filming this video earlier on, and I again, I forgot to mention Callie Severide. God, I cannot believe myself. I'm an idiot. I want to slap myself. Callie Severide is an... He is a beautiful human being, can't just say. I know him as Uncle Mason from The Vampire Diaries, and I was like, bitch, I will tap that. Um, no, but he's actually... Okay, obviously Severide's gorgeous. I'm not blind. We all know this. But he's actually a really sweet guy, what I've seen so far. He's he's amazing. He's just really... He seems really down to earth, and he's always willing to help everybody and put himself on the line for other people. And he's just a really good guy. Like Matthew Casey. <laughs> I'm never going to get sick and tired of saying Matthew Casey. Um, but he, he's just a really... They're both really great guys. And I feel like they, they will remain unproblematic, I hope. I hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Touch wood. I haven't seen any, anything yet, but, like, and what I'm seeing, I'm loving. So, you all should watch this show. It's great. Um, and, honestly, it's this that it's been the reason why I haven't been uploading is because I've been binge-watching with my mum this fucking show, and it's so good. And you just got, next episode, next episode, next episode. Like, I can't stop. And I have no regrets. Um, so, I am going to try and um, get Glee Reaction some more out. Um, 13 Reasons Why has also been released, but honestly, I really cannot be bothered, but, like, I don't know, let me know if you guys actually want me to do it, like, I don't know, like, I want to, but at the same time, I'll probably be slack like I am now, so I don't want to, like, promise anything, but, um, honestly, I'm really enjoying my time off from, um, my regular schedule, and just kind of taking it a bit easy, because I know once the shows come back in October, I will be flat out Monday to Friday, like, no social life, nothing. Like, I'll be, like, Monday to Friday working on these videos, which I love to do, by the way. But, like, I'm just kind of really thankful for this break that I get, and I think that's what keeps me sane, is that I, I have this break, and it helps me just relax a little bit. It's great. Um, so, yeah, um, I will be hopefully doing some more Glee reactions in the next couple of days. Um, I have been promising it, so I'm going to try and do it. Um, I am better now, so that's good. Um, but, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this long ass video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's pretty much me ranting about Chicago Fire for 20 minutes, but I don't even care. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. Um, yeah, I'll see you, guys. I'll see you guys in a couple of days when I do another video. Uh, Glee reaction, I guess. Um... Yeah, love you guys. Chuffin' out. Peace out. I hate that. Okay, bye. <laughs> Chuffin' out, bye.